Justin Trudeau in Richmond Hill, Ontario, once again in the GTA, the crucial voting block around Toronto. Andrew Scheer was also in Toronto today. Federal parties don't like to give away their strategies, but there's one they cannot hide, where the leaders travel. Yeah. They can't visit 338 ridings in 40 days, so where they go is a window into the party's ultimate game plan, region by region. It's really a series of regional campaigns which require the national campaign to go there and try and have an influence on the regional race. Justin Trudeau has hopscotched across the country the first 20 days. The Liberals hold seats in every province and territory. Still, he has held more events by far in Ontario, 19 campaign stops so far. Andrew Scheer and the Conservatives are also competitive in scores of ridings all over the country. His travel almost a carbon copy of Trudeau's, including stops in 10 provinces and matching Trudeau's 19 campaign events in Ontario. It's great to be here in Brampton. How's it going, Brampton? In southern Ontario, the two have crisscrossed so often they could almost book joint events. Each has flitted around the so-called 905, which encircles Toronto with ridings that are vote-rich and winnable for both parties. It is so great to be here in Mississauga. So it's the competitive battleground that could make the difference on Election Day. It suggests that the race is very close in the place where the largest number of swing seats exists, and that's in the greater Toronto area. Jagmeet Singh, meantime, has been in B.C. for the last week, keeping down the NDP's travel costs. He's focused on B.C. and Ontario so far, not so much on Quebec, where the NDP has more seats than in any other province, but are lagging in the polls. Where he's traveling to is communicating to everyone very clearly what he sees as the priorities. Elizabeth May has also campaigned heavily in B.C., where the party is well established, but she has also made several stops in the Maritimes, where the polls show the Greens making inroads. New Brunswick's an incredibly competitive situation, and if there's going to be any swing seats in Atlantic Canada, we're likely to see them in New Brunswick. In the second half of the campaign, watch where the leaders go. Increasingly, they will travel to districts where the party is in a fight and where they believe the leader can make a difference. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.